Let's go over HTML tags and HTML elements and what they are and how they work together. Now, actually, a lot of people can really get away without knowing these uh, exact differences between uh, tags, elements, and attributes and attribute values. But pretty soon, it's, it's going to kind of catch up to you if you don't know the terms very well. Uh, the semantics are going to be important, and understanding the structure of a page uh, is going to help you build a foundation in order to start looking at a page as being built up with objects to better understand the document object model eventually. So in this example here that you're look, looking at, just a real basic uh, uh, HTML code here. This is going to be really HTML 3.2. There's no doc type tag, and it'll work with any browser um, in the last 20 years. And um, but this is all we need because for 20 plus years the the idea of tags, elements, and how they work hasn't changed that much. Uh, so this will be fine for us. So down here in my body tag, I'm going to go ahead and add a HTML element. And there's a tag called a heading tag, and it's different than the head. This is actually an area that you're going to be, like I said. Um, placing meta tags and CSS and, and so forth. The, this tag here, H2, is going to work with, um, with font, with, with fonts, with text. And it'll, what it's doing is it's telling it the various sizes to make your font. It does create areas on your page, but its main purpose is to, um, at this time, to format the text. There's six different levels. H1 is going to be the largest. and h6 will be the smallest. Okay, So if I save this and then I look at it, and I'll go ahead and bring this window over so you can see. Um, I look at this and you see that it's, it's fairly large. Now if I switch it to h6, then you'll see that it gets smaller. Okay, Quite a bit smaller. So I'll let you um, play around between h1 and h6 and try out h2, h3, h4 if you want. And now I'll go ahead and adjust it just a little bit. So it's H2 instead of H6. The H2, here's the start tag for it. Here's the end tag. Most HTML tags need an end tag, especially if they're going to come in pairs. In this case, there's a pair of them because you're telling it to start making the code at a particular size. And then you probably want to end because later on you may want to change the size and have other text appear at different size, right? So you want to end this. So to end it, you have that forward slash, okay? Now, your content is what falls between the tags, all right? Now, if you were to put this in, in, in brackets, your browser would treat it as if it was an HTML tag. So let's show you what I mean. If you were to put this in a bracket, and your browser will treat this as if it was a tag. And now you see how there's nothing there because it's, it thinks that it's an HTML command. It wouldn't actually work, wouldn't process anything because the browser doesn't know a command called welcome to my web page, right? But it would get confused. Okay. So be sure your content is not enclosed in brackets that you want to display. Now, the other thing is the elements. The element is everything. It's everything between the op it's everything including the opening tag to the, the ending tag and everything in between. So keep in mind that you can actually embed elements. So in this case I'm showing that I have an H2 opening, welcome to my web page, and a closing H2. So all that's going to be one area. But let's say for some reason I want to bold the word my. So in this case, I would put strong and closing strong around the word my, and that has created an element, two tag, uh, excuse me, one tag and a closing, and then that's embedded within an H2. So let me just go ahead and put that up here quickly, and I'll write the strong, and then the closing strong. There we go. And it's important to note that the area that I'm highlighting here is an element, but it's also a child now of this H2 element. The H2 is the parent, the strong is the child. But these are two elements, it's just that one is contained in another. And this, I'm going to highlight all this, this is all one element. So which part of the tags? 
BH2 and the strong. What other tags are there? There's a body tag and a head tag. 